Hi guys, my name is Bree, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something that happened to me when I was younger. And this story taught me a very, very valuable lesson, and I hold it close to my heart, and I follow it every single day. It's kind of funny now that I look back on it, how weird and goofy I was when I was younger. I was a tomboy. I loved forts and fishing and playing out in the water and going on hikes into the forest. And I kind of still am like that, but now that I look back on it, I have learned a lot. Okay, so this story was when I was about, uh, I'd say maybe 10 or 11, and I had a best friend named Devlin. And he had this really cool BB gun, and I really wanted one, and I waited forever, and I finally got one for Christmas. It was really, really nice. It was made out of metal and wood, while Devlin's, my friend's, was made out of plastic. When I finally got it, I invited him over to my house, and we walked right across the street where my forest is, and we walked about five minutes in and set up all of our targets. We were super excited, and I had never shot it before, and he was going to teach me how. And so we were out there for about 20 minutes just practicing. I was cocking it, I was shooting, I was hitting all the targets, and I was so excited. And I watched him pull his gun out, load it, and shoot himself in the foot. And I was like, huh, I wonder why he did that. And so I asked him, I asked him if it hurt, because I was curious. And he's like, no, it doesn't hurt at all. And he's like, do you want to try? And I was like, uh... You're sure it doesn't hurt? And he's like, yeah, I'll do it again. So he shoots himself in the foot. I'm like, okay, yeah. So for some odd reason, I let him shoot me in the foot. It didn't hurt at all. I didn't feel anything. And I was like, huh. Well, shoot yourself in the hand. I wonder if it'll hurt. He actually shot himself in the hand. Didn't hurt. It bounced right off. And so I was like, huh. <laughs> I don't. The whole thing was just like so interesting to me. And... I found it fascinating, so for some reason, I was like, yeah, shoot me in the hand, but use my gun. Mind you, my gun was way bigger than his. His was tiny and plastic. It was bought from Walmart, and it, it didn't always work. Mine was brand new. It was made out of wood and metal, and it was big. You had to, like, seriously put some force in and cock that thing back for a 10-year-old. And so I give him my gun, and... He cocks it and points it at my hand about an inch and a half away. It was like, it was like that. He cocks it, points it at my hand, and he shoots it. And I will tell you, I remember the pain that I felt. It hurt. He, his gun maybe did not hurt him, but my gun hurt me. And I don't know why in the world I let him do that. But I can remember crying freaking out. My heart started beating. I was getting scared and worried and anxious. Like, what am I going to tell my mom? He's like, just tell her it ricocheted. And so I run back crying, run into my mom's room and I tell her, mom, it ricocheted. It hit me in the hand. And I sat in there for about 10 minutes and Devlin's mom came and picked him up and they left. And I remember being so embarrassed that I let my best friend shoot me in the hand with a gun, a BB gun. I, I cried, I swear, for about, I cried for like a half an hour, and I had a huge blister and well on my hand, but my mom finally calmed me down, and I went and sat in the living room for about two hours and watched TV. That two hours felt like the longest time of my life. I felt so guilty after lying to my mom. I, I felt like I had a knot in my stomach, my heart was beating, I was sweaty, and I, I didn't know what to do. I knew what to do, but I didn't want to do it because I was scared. I should put it that way. So I remember like, what if I told her this? Or what if I told her this? Or maybe I just left it alone. Would she find out? And I was getting so worried that I finally just, I got up and I walked to my mom's room and I sat, I like stood outside of her door for at least five minutes, just Am I going to go in? Am I going to go in? No, I won't go in. Yeah, I'll go in. Finally, I opened her door and she was just, she was sitting there. 
And I said, Mom, I need to tell you something. And she just looked at me and just stared. And I just kept like, Mom, I need to tell you something. Mom, I need to tell you something. And she's like, just say it. Just say it already. But I couldn't say it. Like, the words wouldn't come out. I felt like I had, like, someone squeezing my neck or I, like, my throat was so hot. I didn't want to tell her, but I knew that that was the right thing to do. And finally, I just, I said, I said it. Mom, it didn't ricochet. It hit me in the hand. I, sh I let Devlin shoot me in the hand with my gun. And she said, I already knew. And I'm like, you already knew? Yeah, I already knew. Thank you for telling me the truth. And in that moment, I felt proud of myself. I felt relief. And now that I look back on it, I'm very happy that my mom just let me suffer in my own guilt for a few hours. Because in that moment, I learned that honesty is very important. And that trust is very important and she believed in me and trusted that I would tell her the truth eventually and I use that every day in my own life and now that I look back on it I am <laughs> more than grateful I think it's silly I think I was a dumb little tomboy girl that was just having fun and wanted to impress her guy friend her best friend I am happy that that happened. Sad to say, I am happy that my best friend shot me in the hand. I'm happy my mom let me sit in my own guilt for a few hours. And I'm happy that I told her the truth because that taught me a very, val a val very valuable lesson that not a lot of people use today. And I believe lying is one of the most terrible things you can do, so... I hope I opened your guys' eyes and helped you to see that lying isn't okay. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.